Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hatboro Horsham High School College Fair. We're excited to have you participating in this event today. Um, we have some fantastic schools with us. My name is Sarah. I'll be your facilitator. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button, and we encourage you to do so on your screen to type your questions for presenters at any time throughout the entire session. If you have questions for a particular institution, you may want to list that school's name in your questions so our panelists can get to you a little bit quicker. Uh, this is just one of many different sessions happening. So be sure to check out the schedule on the website for which you signed up for this event. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Hatborough dash portion. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Harrisburg University. Hi everyone. Oops. Yep, you're ready to go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi everyone. My name is Jordan Sneevely. Um, I think my screen is shared now. I'm with Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. We are a small uh, private four-year school in Harrisburg, PA. We also have a campus in Philadelphia as well. Um, might be a little bit of a commute for you all in Hatboro Horsham. However, the uh, most of the students that I do see from this school are going to the main campus in Harrisburg. So as far as what we have to offer, everything is going to be strictly science and technology. Um, 11, 12 different majors with over 30 different concentrations. One of the newer ones that you might not see up here is forensic science as well as forensic investigation. Two different uh, majors, but can be intertwined to some degree. But like I said, again, everything's going to be focused on mainly science and technology, computer science also being a top major, and game design. We do also have a pre-med track if you are interested in that. We do require every single student to complete some kind of internship prior to graduation. The internships range um, to what capacity students get in. It really just depends. Some of them are paid, some of them are not paid. Some of them do turn into job opportunities. Um, but these are just a few that you might see. Again, some of them do turn into job opportunities, so they are employers, but they also did uh, take some of our students in as interns. As far as housing, we have all apartment style dorms, so fully functioning kitchen, bathroom space, bedroom space, and living spaces. You'll be living with anywhere from one other person up to five other people. Uh, obviously, each apartment will be able to accommodate the, size of the amount of students that are in it. We do have fully functioning kitchens because we do um, not have any cafeterias on campus, so you will be responsible for making your own meals or going to get your own meals. Harrisburg is in a city, uh, not quite like Philadelphia, it's going to be a little bit smaller, so you will have a diverse range of foods to choose from, um, but just want to make sure you do know that. We do have over 30 plus student um, clubs and activities. They range from major specific all the way to what we don't offer as far as majors, so liberal arts, creative arts, performing arts, whatever it might be. When I say student run, student base, that means that you are um, in control of creating the different kinds of clubs at our campus. Scholarships is a big thing with us. We do offer very competitive financial aid award packages. Every single student who gets accepted gets a scholarship based on their acceptance. Uh, you don't have to do any extra work. You just need to apply and if you get accepted, you'll get a scholarship awarded based on your final high school GPA. Um, they range from 11,000 to 15,000 a year. Um, our tuition is 23,900 a year. So even that 11,000 scholarship will cut your tuition in half and it is stackable. We don't ever take money away from you. So financial aid on top of that, as well as any third party scholarships. So I talked about internships, class sizes are going to remain small. We are a newer school. We are a small school, but we are expanding. We keep our classes small and we plan to do that in the future. Major specific classes are 25 to 30 students and then your I'm sorry, general education courses are 25 to 30 students and major specific are gonna be about seven to 13. We do currently have a 91% job placement rating and we are typically looking for a 2.7, 2.75 GPA or higher for admission. We don't require SATs or ACTs, but I do encourage you to send them. So application is really easy. There's no fee, apply directly online or through the Common App. Once we get your transcripts, you can send them directly to me or through your guidance counselor, and we'll get a decision to you within 24 to 48 hours. And here is my contact information. Feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Jordan Stingley. I work at the Philly campus, but I serve all the students in the Philly and surrounding counties. 
um, feel free to reach out to me whenever if you are interested. Thank you. Thank you so much, Harrisburg University. Next up, we have Gannon University. Hello, everyone. My name is Emily. Um, I work at Gannon University. We're located in Erie, Pennsylvania, um, just kitty corner on the other side of the state um, from where you all are at in the Philly area. And give me a moment here. Here we go. Uh, this is just giving you a little snapshot of where we are located. Um, we are right up there in the corner um, on the shores of Lake Erie, pretty much equidistant between Cleveland, Buffalo, and the Pittsburgh area. Gannon is located directly downtown um, in the heart of the city. Um, a little bit about the Erie area. Um, there are a lot of recreational opportunities available for our students because of our downtown location. Uh, we are within walking distance of theaters, sports stadiums. Uh, the Bayfront, which is pictured here, uh, is within walking distance. We are on the bay side of Lake Erie. There is a water taxi where you can um, taxi over to 13 miles of beach um, where you can hike, bike, jet ski, rollerblade, et cetera. We are also just a short drive from a major shopping area, Tinseltown Movie Theater, and um, just about any restaurant you could possibly ever want to eat at. Um, our downtown location also affords the opportunities for our students to do many things in terms of research and internship opportunities. Um, you can see listed there all of the areas um, for academic that we have um, and the internships that are available in the downtown area mostly are within walking distance of campus. Um, and if not, we can help provide transportation to and from any um, opportunity. Um, a little bit about our academic profile, you can see here that we have a full breadth of programs in the School of Business, um, computing, cyber programs, education, um, many forms of engineering, health professions, humanities, which would be your English, um, political science type majors, pre-health, uh, pre-med, pre-chiropractic, et cetera, um, science majors, as well as social sciences, um, criminal justice, uh, for example. We have an average class size of about 19 and a student to faculty ratio of 12 to one. Uh, we are a liberal arts university, so we do have a core curriculum that all students will take as part of their um, academic program. Gannon also does have a ton of clubs and organizations, over 100 to be exact, that are very active on campus, everything from Greek life to service and social organizations. We have a very active student government association, as well as an activities programming board and so much more. Uh, we also do have a lot of opportunities for study abroad, whether that be a full semester, a short summer stint, or doing something over a fall or spring break. Um, in terms of athletics, Gannon is a Division II um, athletic school. We are part of the PSAC, or the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Um, in terms of the recruitment process, for any student who might be interested in college athletics, I would encourage you to visit www.gannon. At sports.com. There is a prospective student athlete form there that you can fill out and your contact information will be sent directly to a coach. You can always work with your current coach or guidance counselor to make sure that you go through the um, NCAA clearinghouse and submit all necessary documentation to them. Um, in addition, Gannon does have club teams um, and intramural sports. In terms of how to apply to Gannon, um, in, for uh, application, you can apply via our online application or via the Common App. We still do have a paper um, application. If you want to print out a PDF version, you're a pen and paper kind of person, please feel free to do so. Test scores are optional for most programs. Uh, we do encourage students to submit them because we can use them for financial aid purposes. However, we will not look at them for admission to any of our academic programs. A few of our affiliated medical programs, for example, our Case Western Dental Program requires the test score. Um, however, if you have specific questions about a program that may or may not require a test score, please don't hesitate to let me know. We will require your transcripts. Uh, we will look at your reported cumulative GPA from the end of your junior year, um, and that will vary what the requirement is based on academic program. Letters of recommendation and personal statements or essays are optional for most programs. However, all of our science and health professions programs do require a letter of recommendation from a science or math teacher. Personal statements are required for our physician assistant um, and LECOM medical program. Quick, a little bit of information here about scholarships and award. 
Every student that is admitted to the university does receive a merit-based scholarship that's offered at the time of acceptance. It can range anywhere between 15 five per year up to $22,000 per year. Um, that is renewable for all of your um, undergraduate years. Uh, in addition to that, we are stackable. So we encourage all students to get as many outside scholarships as possible. In addition, any money you may qualify for through the FAFSA would be added on top. Um, after a student files the FAFSA, because we are a private university, we do have additional grant money that is available. Um, our financial aid office will review that uh, after you have a FAFSA on file. In terms of additional opportunities through Gannon, we do have several academic competitions coming up here in November and December that are hosted online, where a student can win anywhere between $500 and $3,000 per year of on top money. So for example, if you're interested in a business program, you could take the business contest if you're interested in engineering, engineering, et cetera. Those are found online at gannon.edu backslash visit. Um, there's a full list of all of the upcoming um, contest opportunities. We also do have a Memorial Music Award for students who are interested in playing in Gannon's Orchestra and a patron of the Arts Award as well. Um, we have a full tuition competition um, that we do have to be applied to the university by December 15th to see whether or not you qualify to compete. Um, lastly here, just opportunities to visit. We still have two open houses coming up this fall. Um, we do daily appointments Monday through Friday between nine and three. Um, select Saturday group visits, and of course, virtual visits. You can find all of these details online at gannon.edu backslash visit. And that is my contact information, should any of you have any additional questions. Thank you so much. And a great reminder to uh, put those questions in the Q&A if you have any. Our panelists, I'm sure, would love to answer all of your questions. And next up, we have Slippery Rock University. Emily, if you don't mind stopping uh, sharing your screen. All right, there we go. Samantha, over to you. Hi, everyone. Thank you. My name is Samantha, and I'm with Slippery Rock University. And I'm excited to share a little bit about um, SAU today. Um, Slippery Rock is located in Slippery Rock University, about an hour north of Pittsburgh. We are a mid-sized university with a total enrollment of over 8,800 students with an undergraduate population of just around 7,500. Um, with our average class size of 25 students, with a student to faculty ratio 21 to one. And anytime you're in an academic class, you're always taught by a professor. You're never taught by a teaching assistant or a graduate assistant. Um, it's always that professor um, that is teaching those classes and classes are like I said is caps at 25 so you really have that opportunity to get to know your classmates as well as the professor teaching the class in itself. Um, as you're doing your college search we have over 150 different undergraduate programs to choose from anything ranging from your sciences exercise science to go into physical therapy or occupational therapy to education business um, and everything far in between with over 40 different graduate programs offered at SOU. Um, all of our programs fit within four different academic colleges. We have our College of Health, Engineering and Science, College of Business, College of Education, and our College of Liberal Arts. And while you're always taught by a professor, 92% of our faculty have PhDs or terminal degrees in their fields. So you have multiple ways of ha having hands-on experiences, bringing those experiences from the work world into the classroom. Um, as a graduate of Slippery Rock, that was always one of my favorite things, being able to have those experiences and connecting my information from my book to a real world example. Um, I love the aspect of college and being able to getting involved. So as students are involved in high school and athletics or just other organizations, we still have those opportunities at school um, at the college level at Slippery Rock, we have over 160 organizations. They're all student-led. Anything from academic organizations, to athletic organizations, maybe student government association, um, and anything far in between. Multiple ways of studying abroad, whether it's a full semester, a full year, over winter break, or over our spring break. We are an NCAA Division II university in athletics. Um, if you are interested in that varsity athletics, please making sure you're contacting varsity coaches. 
but we also have club sports and intramurals if you don't want to be at that varsity level but still be involved actively. We have a wonderful honors college. Um, the honors college, keeping in mind, is a separate application from the actual application to the university itself. We also have multiple ways of getting involved in Greek life as well as community service and leadership opportunities across campus. Um, we do require all of our first year students to live on campus and you have two different housing style options. You have your suite style options as well as your tra traditional style options. There are three differences between these two. Um, your first difference is going to be your cost. A traditional style dorm is typically about $3,000 less per year than a suite style dorm is. The next biggest difference is going to be the bathroom setup. A traditional style dorm room is going to be sharing and caring. So it's going to be two people per room, but then the restroom is down the hall that is shared with others on the floor, which someone comes in at least twice a day to clean that bathroom. In the suite style housing, you have your own bathroom that you and your roommate share, and then you are responsible for cleaning that bathroom, providing its cleaning supplies, as well as um, its toilet paper. And then the third major difference is what we call a living learning community. And a living learning community is living in the same building or the same wings as those in your academic area or major. Um, something that's not required, but they are only housed in suite style housing options. And then we do allow freshmen to have cars on campus. It's $25 for the year for a parking pass. Um, as you're doing your college search process, there's lots of factors that go in, into your college search process and cost of attendance could be one of them. As a PA resident, you do wanna make sure you're looking at that PA column. Um, so your bottom total cost is going to depend whether you're in suite style housing or traditional style housing. But your tuition and fees is a flat rate, no matter whether you're taking 12 or 18 credit hours. And an average student takes 15 credit hours a semester, which is about five classes. Um, with your room and board, your board is your meal plan, and every student has a base meal plan of 14 meals a week and $350 of flex. So not to worry, you'll have plenty of food options across campus and plenty of ways of utilizing your meal plan. Um, next steps would be applying. So seniors, the application is open and the application is through our website in itself, suu.edu slash apply. It's an online application, $30 application fee, as well as an official high school transcript that comes from your high school guidance counselor. We are test optional from this point forward. And the only other thing that would be addition to is if you are a music theater or a dance major, you would require an audition through those departments. Um, we also don't look for letters of recommendation or essays. It is truly those three things listed on the screen. Um, the biggest thing I would encourage students to do is we do offer merit-based scholarships. And the best thing that you can do is apply prior to December 1st. As long as you've applied prior to December 1st, you're automatically considered for merit-based scholarships. Um, and then anything else additional to that, like our first year scholarships or honors college scholarships, honors college scholarships, you do need to apply to those on a separate um, application, which would be either applying through the Honors College or at that website listed on the screen. We do encourage all families to submit the FAFSA, that free application for federal student aid, as well as scholarships are stackable. So if you earn anything through the FAFSA, loans, grants, other scholarships outside, anything is stackable along with everything. And then this is some general contact information and I'll put my contact information in the chat. Thank you so much for being here today and allowing me to share Slippery Rock with you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Elizabethtown College. Thank you for having me. My name is Oz. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Elizabethtown College. I'm gonna talk about becoming a Blue Jay. Our mascot is the Blue Jay. We are located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're only an hour and a half away from Montgomery County for the most part. And I'm gonna give you a little short overview. So about Eton and the Valley of E, we have over 65 majors, over 100 minors and concentrations, over 76 clubs and organizations here on campus. Our student to faculty ratio is 13 to one. So the faculty will definitely know who you are. We have 24 sports, 12 for female, 12 for male. We also have esports. And the most important figure is we're in the top 50 uh, colleges in Pennsylvania, and we have a 95% employment and or grad school rate for all of our students and our majors. We have seven schools, but we are known for five programs that have a near 100% employment rate. 
Those include our music therapy program, our business school, our occupational therapy program, our actual science program and our engineering program, as well as our education program. They have a 100% one, uh, employment rate, but here we have a number of majors. You can also create your own major and you can talk to your first year advisor and they will help you do those things. We have a 13 to one student to faculty ratio. This is one of my favorite pictures. This is Matt Smith and the Dean of the Honors College, John Paul Benowitz. Matt Smith is currently in Oxford right now, University, doing uh, his studies in Middle Eastern Studies and Political Science. Every year we send a survey to our students and 92% of our students had at least one faculty member who made them excited about learning. Also 91% of our faculty hold terminal degrees. Many of them have gone to schools like Penn State, Dartmouth, um, and other Ivy League schools as well, such as, uh, as well as Stanford. So they're experts in their fields. In order to graduate from E-Town, one, one, one has to complete what we call signature learning experiences. There's five of them, and you only have to do two. So the first one is supervised research. Therefore, if you're a business major and you want to research how has COVID affected small businesses, you can do research on that. If you're an engineering major, you can do research about like the Turnpike, the Chesapeake Bay area, but you also have the chance to do an internship. Uh, our most popular internships are with Hershey, uh, with the Hershey Company, Hershey Park, Hershey Foods, uh, the accounting program in Hershey. You can also do what we call cross-cultural experiences. That means you have the chance to study abroad. We have over 100 countries, 500 programs. You can go for two to six weeks. You can go for a semester or you can go for the whole year. It's really up to you. We have community-based learning. You get a chance to work at a nonprofit. Those include Habitat for Humanity, United Way. And then we have your capstone course. That is everything that you have learned from your freshman year all the way down to your senior year. So you have to do two. And I give an example. I was able to do four. I was able to do an internship um, with a bank. I did a cross-cultural experience. I went to New Zealand for six months. I did community-based learning with the Voluntary Income Tax Program, and I was able to complete my capstone course as well. We have different housing options. So we have traditional halls, but we also have private apartments, and we have townhomes as well. Housing is guaranteed for all the four years. We have many places for students to eat. So we have a Starbucks coffee. We have a mobile food truck. If any student has any dietary restrictions, uh, we can do personalized meals and all of, all of our food is made in-house. We also have a counseling center, a writing center, a tutoring center, and the well for our students to have a healthy mind and a healthy body. We have the care of the sports that we have. We have 12 sports for females, 12 for male. We also uh, have esports as well. So if there's any gamers and we have over 76 clubs or organizations on campus. So we have like anime clubs, study abroad, Japanese, political clubs, religious clubs, all sorts of things for all of our students. Here is the Bauer Center for Sports, Fitness and Wellbeing. It's a state-of-the-art facility. We have multi-purpose rooms, athletic training, indoor track and outdoor track, a smoothie bar, a relaxation room for our students. We have lounges with fireplaces and we have an outdoor fire pit. The application process is very simple. We do, we're in the Common App, we're in the Eton App, we need a high school transcript, a recommendation letter, and a writing sample. You will hear from us from two to three weeks, and then you have until May 1st to make your deposit. Some application tips, please understand some of the deadlines. We're rolling admissions with some exceptions, and I'm gonna talk about the exceptions shortly. Please brag about yourself and tell us everything. Don't be afraid to ask questions, and remember that it is also about you accepting us, the college, as much as it is about us accepting you. Uh, getting you here. So right now we have scholarships. Right now, if you have a 3.5 GPA or higher, you will qualify for the presidential scholarship, which is $17,000 per year. If you have between a 3.0 to a 3.49, you will get $14,000 per year. And if you have between a 2.5 to a three, you will get $12,000 per year. We have other scholarships. So we have the Mosaic Scholarship for students that are interested in social justice and diversity. We have a music performance scholarship. And for our best and brighter, we have a STEM scholarship. We'll give 
you're allowed to come in tuition free. Here are some of the special interview programs that we have for occupational therapy and our PA program. The deadline is December 15th and you can transfer credit. So we take the four or the five and you can do dual enrollment as well with a local community college. Come in and check us out at etan.edu and I'm gonna put my email on the chat box if you have any questions, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Albright College. Hi everybody, my name is Natalie Buck. I'm here today to talk about Albright College. We are located in Reading, Pennsylvania and we are a small private liberal arts school. We have about 1800 day students enrolled currently and our student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. Your average class size is around the same area. Some of your larger classes might have around 25 students that might be in a foundations course. But as you get closer to your major courses, it is going to get smaller. Here at Albright, we also value inclusivity and equality. We do have a very diverse campus. Here is some information about our cost as well as the scholarships and aid that we offer to students. So on the left hand side, you can see the area that talks about tuition, the cost for room and board, as well as the student fee. And that totals at about 14, oh, I'm sorry, 40,854. On the right hand side, you can see some of the various scholarships and awards that you're able to qualify for. If you're accepted into Albright College, you're automatically considered for a merit-based scholarship and you would receive notification of that when you get your acceptance letter. And then these scholarships on the right, these are in addition. So for example, we have the trustee award. We also have the Davis scholarship. The talent award is for students who are talented in creative writing, journalism, theater, arts administration, fashion, costume design, various fields like that. And they're able to submit a portfolio to apply for that award. We also have the Legacy Award for our students and the United Methodist Award. And about 97% of our students are receiving financial aid. So that includes the merit-based scholarship as well as the FAFSA information. Regarding our academics on campus, we do have 150 different combinations of majors and minors. So at Albright, you can customize your major to something that really interests you. Some of our most popular majors include biology, business administration, psychology, and computer science. Regarding biology, a lot of our students follow biology track for pre-med, and we do have a 90% acceptance rate into medical school. Some of our more unique majors include fashion, game simulation and design, as well as music industry studies. Our fashion majors this past year actually were also on or in New York City for Fashion Week. So that was super exciting and an amazing opportunity for our students as well as some of our alumni. Regarding campus life, we do have various different residential buildings on campus. As a first year student, you live in the quad. That's four different buildings that first years live in. So that includes Walton, Krauss, Crowell, and Smith Hall. In that setup, you have the two beds, your desk, your chair. It comes with an air conditioning in all the rooms, as well as a fridge and microwave unit. As a first year student, you're also going to have a meal plan. So we do have various options. You can either have the gold meal plan, that's unlimited swipes per week, unlimited swipes per day, and that includes the $90 in bonus bucks. And the silver meal plan is 14 swipes per week, so essentially two swipes per day, and that includes $100 in the bonus bucks. After your first year living on campus, you'd be able to live in Woods, which is our apartment style living. For juniors and seniors, we have Rockland Hall, that's suite style living. Once you get to the apartment and suite style living, you don't necessarily need to have the gold or silver meal plan. You could bump it down to the bronze. We also have 60 plus clubs and organizations on campus. So they can range from academic type clubs, for example, a math club or biology club. We also have the arts. So we have the domino players. That's a theater group that we have on campus. We have gaming, religion, culture, media, and the various other aspects there. Regarding our athletics on campus, 30% of our students are involved in athletics in some way. We are a division three school and we have 24 varsity sports. 
That includes both men's, women's, and co-ed sports. Esports is our newest sport. Regarding the admission process, in order to be considered for Albright College, you would need to submit your application, and you're able to do that through the Common App as well as through the website. It is a free application. And the other thing that we require is your high school transcript, and that will come from your guidance office. We are a test optional school, but we do recommend if you have a 1200 or higher on the SAT to send your test scores, as well as a 25 or higher on the ACT. We do have a rolling admission at Albright, and we also are essay optional as well as letter recommendation optional. I do encourage students to write an essay just so that your admission counselor is able to get to know who you are a little bit more, maybe learn about something you're interested in. And the same goes for a letter recommendation, that's also optional, but it is nice to read a little bit about you and have somebody write on your behalf. On this slide here, I have some information about how you can connect with Albright College. So we're on Instagram, TikTok, there's our email as well as our Snapchat account, and I can add my email to the chat too. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of Pittsburgh. You're muted. Sorry about that. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be here to share a little bit more about Pitt. Uh, my name is Dana Gowder. I'm an enrollment services manager at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm actually regionally based, um, so very local to the Hatboro Horsham um, High School community. Um, I'm a Philadelphia native as well and a proud Pitt alum. Just to get the slides going here. There we go. Um, so just an overview of the University of Pittsburgh. Pitt is a four-year state-related research-based public institution um, located in Western Pennsylvania, obviously in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, we are actually ranked number one in the Northeast region and have been uh, for consecutive years now. Um, we, are at, we have a very urban campus, as you can see from some of the pictures below. Uh, we're less than 10 minutes away from downtown Pittsburgh in a section of the city called Oakland. And Oakland is actually uh, one of about 89 different neighborhoods around the city of Pittsburgh. And so oftentimes you'll hear our students refer to the city of Pittsburgh as our extended campus. And that's because um, our students, as well as our faculty and staff, all have the privilege of riding uh, public transportation for free within the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, with just their pit IDs. And so we're able to take advantage of all the amazing opportunities that the city of Pittsburgh has to offer. Uh, we are a mid to large size university. So approximately about 19,000 undergraduate students on campus with a nice 14 to one student faculty ratio. And so with that, Pitt offers a very uh, personalized educational experience, allowing our students to have that uh, small campus feel. Uh, we do have over 100 majors, minors, and certificate programs that you can choose to pursue during your time at Pitt. Um, we offer more than 500 clubs and organizations ranging from uh, Greek life to religious to uh, government, ROTC, and anything you could possibly think of in between. We do guarantee housing for our first year students. First, first year can stay in single rooms, double rooms, triple rooms, quadruple rooms, and suites at the University of Pittsburgh. We have amazing food with over 25 different eatery spaces on campus. Um, we have over 350 global experiential opportunities ranging from studying abroad or studying away domestically. We have research, we have internship programs, co-ops, and again, the amenities of the city of Pittsburgh. Um, from Division I athletics to um, the discovery of the polio vaccine on the University of Pittsburgh campus. Um, our Pitt students love our campus. They love our tradition. Um, they love our sense of community and the belonging. So this is just a few pictures of our campus. Um, the map shows our three additional regional campuses located in Western Pennsylvania, um, which are again in our pit system. And so I'll just show you a few slides um, of a few snapshots of the city of Pittsburgh. Hopefully you will get the opportunity to visit if you haven't already done so. It truly is a pretty cool place to be. Uh, very familiar um, and unique in its own way, but familiar to the Philadelphia area. So just jumping into the application process, essentially three different avenues you can choose to take when applying to Pitt. 
Uh, we don't have any preference on which route you choose to go to, whichever one is the best fit for you. We then will ask you to choose a school for admissions. And so we do have six freshman entry schools that you can choose to apply to. And those are listed on the screen there. Once you select your school, we will um, request for you to select um, or rank one of our regional campuses just because admissions to our Pittsburgh campus is extremely competitive. You do have additional options to apply to our Pitt Honors College, um, which is simply checking a box. It's no separate application. You check a box on the application and then it will prompt you to complete our Pitt Honors College essay. You also have the opportunity to apply to be reviewed for one of our graduate guarantee programs at Pitt, um, which are um, amazing programs that we offer for um, graduate school students. But as the guarantee, you can secure your seat in one of the graduate school programs as an incoming freshman, which is a really nice added bonus just for simply applying to the University of Pittsburgh. Now, some important dates and deadlines to keep in mind. Here is sort of some snapshot, a uh, snapshot of um, for you to be aware of as you are applying. I do wanna highlight that we are um, rolling admissions at the University of Pittsburgh. So we don't have a hard cut deadline on when we stop reviewing applications as we are reviewing them ultimately all the time. And so we review them as they come in. Um, but if you're a senior, definitely encourage you to get your application in sooner rather than later. Um, I will also highlight um, our December 1st deadline. So that is the deadline for our merit-based scholarships as well as our honors college. So if you wanna be considered for Pitt Honors, encourage you to get your application and your essay in by December 1st. Um, we don't have a separate application for our merit-based scholarships at the university. If you wanna be considered for merit-based scholarships, we encourage you to get your application in by December 1st, which is the deadline. We also require some type of a writing sample from you, whether that's the Common App essay, um, or a personal um, statement that you will submit. Um, I will also highlight um, if you are, since you are a PA resident, you also will qualify for the PA scholars application, um, which are two prestigious scholarships that we offer at the University of Pittsburgh, the Stamp Scholarship, as well as the Nortonberg Scholarship. And these two prestigious scholarships will essentially pay you, um, pay your experience to the university. So instead of you paying tuition and room and board to Pitt, we will pay you to attend the University of Pittsburgh. Um, and then at the top, you see again, a snapshot of just a complete application and we are test optional at the University of Pittsburgh. So definitely connect with us. We'll encourage you to scan the QR code if you're able to, to share your contact information with us. It will help us keep track of who attended the event and also allow for us to keep you posted on what's happening at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, my contact information is there on the screen. I'll absolutely drop it in the chat as well. And then you can also connect with us on social media. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to invite all of our presenters to join me on camera. Um, and with their microphones on, we here at StriveScan do what we call a round robin Q&A. This gives an opportunity for you to hear some advice from our wonderful professionals today. Um, so the first question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll start within the order you presented. So starting with Harrisburg University. So I always um, tell students to think of the things that you don't necessarily go straight for, think of class sizes, um, think of your environment and what you're used to learning to in, um, think of diversity. Uh, where are you guys coming from? Do you wanna go somewhere where everyone kind of looks the same or is coming from the same background or do you wanna go somewhere where people don't look like you? Um, so definitely think of these things. Um, but as far as like class sizes, it was something I never thought about. I went to a big school in Philadelphia loved my school, but um, I didn't think about the 100, 100 to 150 students that were in some of my lecture halls. Um, do you wanna remain in the class sizes that you have now? So uh, just something for you to think of. Um, I'm sure everyone else has something great to say as well. Gannon University. Hi everyone, sorry, I'm not able to turn my camera on this time, um, but the advice that I would give someone going through the college search process is that I would make sure that any school that you have an interest in, make sure that you visit. Um, visit different types of campuses, visit different locations, because it might sound cheesy, but there is a huge feel fit um, that you just can't experience unless you are there on the campus, you see the rest of the students, you see if they're happy, you check out the weather um, and everything that the campus has to offer. So definitely visit and visit many different types of schools if you're able. Liberty Rock University. 
I definitely 100% agree with Emily's advice as well as Jordan's. And then to add on to that, I would say, um, make sure you're making a decision for you. Make sure that you are going to school for you, not because your best friend is going, not because um, a boyfriend or a significant other or a girlfriend is going. Um, make sure that you are going to be happy at that location. Um, it's got everything that you're looking for, whether it's major, whether it's ways of getting involved, but making sure that you are physically comfortable and happy with your decision. Elizabethtown College. Uh, just make sure to ask questions when you go on tour. Uh, because there is no better resource than the current students that are living on campus, as well as us as counselors, you know, we're always happy to help and answer all the questions that you might have. Albright College. My advice was also going to be to visit campus. It's one of the most important aspects, I think. But another thing that I'll add is maybe getting into contact with a professor in the field that you're looking to study in. I know I had reached out to a professor before I committed to my college, and that was just helpful to understand a little bit more about how their teaching style was going to be and just what to expect. University of Pittsburgh. Hi, I, I would advise everyone to make sure you're having fun throughout the process. This is, um, especially for seniors, this is your senior year, you're still doing sports, you have homework, um, but you also have senior activities that happen within your high school. And then you're also doing this whole college search thing. And so as you're going through all of these um, things throughout your senior year, be sure to slow down and actually enjoy your senior year and enjoy the college search because um, when you're visiting campuses, you're, you should be having fun, right? Um, to deciding when, uh, where you'll spend the next four years of your life. So my big advice would definitely be to make sure you slow down and have fun. Great advice. Our next question, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? So briefly, we'll go to, um, again, in the same order, Harrisburg University, pick us off. So as I mentioned earlier, we're a very small school, um, we're very specific in science and technology. So um, we can't always compete with the bigger schools. Um, so I always tell students what might make us your third or fourth choice um, is our scholarships that might make us your number one choice. It comes down to money for a lot of students. And um, I always want one student who are seniors, if you're applying with us just to see what you get in, make sure you're, you're able to compare those financial aid award letters. Um, and then again, like visiting the campuses and everything like that, it, we, we have a lot to offer. Um, and it, it is very specific, but make sure you are keeping that in mind. Gannon University. Yeah. Um, yeah, the one thing I would like to share with everyone is I would say, you know, for us, for, for Gannon or for any other school is to uh, don't make any judgments before you visit a campus. Don't make assumptions. A lot of times people make assumptions about Gannon being a, in the middle of a city. Um, if you haven't been to Erie, you haven't been to Gannon, um, you might not realize that we do have a campus, even though we are downtown and Erie's not that big. Um, we're a really great size. We're a nice stepping stone. We have a great location. So Things that you may think or you think you know something just because you read it online or you heard it from someone, just make sure you experience it yourself. Because um, remember, everybody's a little bit different than you might think. Slippery Rock University. Um, I would think the one thing is, oh, I feel like my answers have been taken. Um, definitely those things that you love to do and those things that you love to be involved in, don't forget that those are options that you can do still at the college level. So um, for me, when I was doing my college search process, academics for sure was important, but I also wanted to find ways of getting involved and bettering myself outside of the classroom. So remembering that there's lots of ways of getting involved outside of um, the class and within your major. Elizabethtown College. Yeah, so uh, because of our location, every other day the town, actually the college smells like chocolate. Uh, so it's really nice uh, to smell that over the fall time and the winter time. Also, uh, there will be always something here for you. Uh, there will, we have over 100 clubs. So besides your major, we'll always have something to, for you to do here. Albright College. Um, my first thing for everybody to remember about Albright is that you can make your... your your major unique to you so you can do a co-major add a minor make it something you're interested in and the second thing is the financial aid process a lot of our students do receive great financial aid from Albright whether it's through the merit-based in addition to the FAFSA information that the financial aid package can produce and University of Pittsburgh 
I would say, um, number one, that um, because we have a very urban campus, the city is our campus and we're very well integrated into the city. And so because we're a mid to large size university, there's always something to do on and off campus because of our big student population. Um, there's always ways to get connected. Um, and even though we have a large um, campus, we do have a very nice personalized educational experience. So um, you get the city and the best of both because you also offer um, green space on our campus as well. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank our presenters today for your insights, your information on your institutions, and thank you to everyone who joined us. Um, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions and you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash Hatboro-Horsham. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.